Uh, I wish I how do I introduce this? Do your brakes squeak? Welcome to the second episode of the Cycle Exchange Basic Bike Mechanic Series. On today's episode, we are going to be looking at how to change brake pads on a disc brake bike. Like this, these ones. First things first, we need to remove the axle. You might just go for it straight away. Mm -mm -mm. Not with the rear wheel. With the rear wheel, make sure you've shifted all the way down into your smallest cog. The reason you do that is uh, makes your life a whole lot easier getting the wheel out. You're not gonna bend your derailleur or derailleur hanger. Now, remember your lefty loosey, righty tighty, or wherever it is, get that axle out, right? And just be careful, come here Sam, have a look at this. Around the other side, all the way around. Look at that, right? Just when you're, when, you're, when you're taking the wheel out, just be careful with that derailleur. Move it back out of the way. Just gently drop it out. Just like, be careful with it all, you know? It's delicate. It's delicate. Put your wheel somewhere safe. Put your axle somewhere safe. Approved. All right, zoom in on this. All right, there's a little safety clip. Uh, first things first, you need to take it off. So let's just get that out of the way. All right, that is your safety clip. You need to hold on to that, take good care of it, don't lose it. Cool. Now, Shimano calipers, they have a little bolt. You need a flathead screwdriver. Let's get that bad boy in there. All right, just loosen that off. All right, and now that safety clip and this little pin thing there, Take good care of it. Don't lose them. Oh, I think I've lost the clip. Grab them. Oh, there you are. They're out. Now let's let's have a little look about what components we got here. Cool. Brake pads. Everyone knows them. Everyone loves them. They're not me. The brake pads. Look at them. Right. Cool. You got a nice little sandwich here, right? Delicious. Not delicious. And. What we have is the right brake pad. You can see it easily identified by the little R right there. Then you have a spring in the middle. And what this does is it just stops the brake pads from rubbing against the disc and uh, stops them from rattling around in your caliper. And then you've got your left brake pad. And they go together like a nice little sandwich, just like that. Beautiful. In there, I don't know if you can see it. Let me grab a utensil. You've got a white, piston in there right and you've got the same thing just on the other side there Can you look at that yeah so two white pistons they are the actual mechanism inside the caliper that pushes your brake pads onto your disc and creates that little sandwich Ugh. right if your if your brake pads have randomly stopped working or they've become extra extra squeaky when you take them out pay attention to the back of the pad right if there's oil on the back of the pad like a ring of oil on the back of the pad. It means your caliper's leaking, right? And no amount of cleaning your brakes, cleaning your discs, cleaning your caliper, changing your pads is gonna fix that. You need to replace the, the caliper. What you could do is just slap some new brake pads right in there. It's not how we're gonna do it today. We're gonna do it the right way. We're gonna give our disc a clean and we're gonna give our caliper a clean just to make sure if there is any residual oil uh, that's all gone and your brake pads won't squeak. Let's go. So we're gonna give it a spray with some degreaser, you know, anyone can find degreaser. And then we're just gonna give it a good scrub. Use your toothbrush, it tastes delicious afterwards. And just give that, you know, a really good scrub. Don't forget to get the in there and do the back as well. Right, it's important to get both sides, obviously. Right, give that little rinse off. Get in there. Rinsing, rinsing, rinsing. Get yourself some blade cleaner, all right? Some blue roll, kitchen roll, whatever. Tell you what, for this, I'm gonna take my gloves off because I don't want to get any grease that is already on the gloves, on the blue roll, and then in turn on the disc. So nice clean hands, nice clean bit of blue roll. Right, fold it up, make a little 
sandwich. Get your brake cleaner. Get your brake cleaner in a bit of blue roll. And you make a little sandwich around the disc now, yeah? And what we're gonna do, just wipe it around the disc. Make sure it's really nice and clean. You can see, like, even after washing that disc, that there's still a little bit of oil or gunk or whatever it is in there. So, you know, just do this. Make sure it's really clean. Hopefully that'll stop your brakes from squeaking, if they are squeaking. And if they're not squeaking already, it'll stop them from potentially squeaking after you put the new pads in, because you contaminated your disc. Once is never good enough. Do it twice. Just give it a little bit of a clean. Make sure there's no oil on it. Take your time. Pay attention. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. Push a little bit of blue roll in the middle there and get the old flossing action going, right? Uh, we've got a clean caliper, clean pistons, clean disc, and brand new brake pads. Cool. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna push the pads back, right? Really gently, you don't wanna crack a pad or anything like that. We're gonna get in there and just gently use it just to push those pistons back into their space, you know? Just so the wheel goes in there real nice with those fresh brake pads. Cool. Beautiful. Left pads, right pads, little spring thing to go in the middle. Just get it like that, put it like that. Then put the other one on top like that. Make sure it's nice, you know. It's pretty self-explanatory, that part, to be honest. Uh, same with this, you know. Put the left hand bit on the left hand side, etc. Cool. Uh, yeah, pinch them together and they should just slide on in there. Like that. Look at that. Nice. Now the pads are in the caliper, you need to find your little bolt, right? The safety bolt. This is what's actually going to hold your pads in there. Get it in there. Put it in there. Like that. All right. And then just nip that up. Last but not least, get that clip. Back on there, lovely, look at that. It goes in there real nice, just like that. Look at that, perfect. Boop. Allen key, give it a little nip up. Cool, because we pushed the pads back, you're gonna have to give it a couple pumps of the lever uh, for it to start properly biting again. When it does start biting, what we're going to do is we're going to spin the wheel, have a little listen, see if you can hear it rubbing. If it is rubbing, just look straight down here and you'll be able to see the floor in between the pads. Have, do you want to have a look, mate? Right around there, you can see the gap between the two sides of the pad and the disc. Uh, so you need a gap. If you spin the wheel, right, and you hear a noise or you can see it touching the size of the pads then you need to adjust the pads and that's what we'll do right now gonna loosen these bad boys off just a tad so we get a little bit of movement in that caliper come here have a look at this all right so you can see there now the caliper is loose and you can actually move it side to side it's pretty easy now basically just by sight wiggle that caliper so there's equal spacing on either side of the disc and when you uh, when it appears like you've got it pretty good start gently tightening up those bolts right and when you're happy with it give it a spin you know listen it's pretty spot on ah, nice now the disc and the caliper is all aligned uh, your brake will actually feel a whole lot better. Um, that's because the pads are biting evenly, real nice, so it feels nice, crisp Shimano Jura Ace bite, you know? Uh, give it another spin, give it a little test. Lovely. Excellent. On that first ride, brakes aren't going to work too well, uh, so what I recommend doing is bedding your pads in. So go outside, do a couple sprints up and down the road, grab a handful of back brake uh, and just like take that first layer of brake pad off um, and they'll be biting like perfect after that, hopefully. 
Uh, cool. Thank you for watching today's episode, the second episode of the Cycle Exchange Basic Bike Mechanics How To Series. Uh, if you've got any more questions about disc brakes or rim brakes, maybe we can do that in a later episode. Leave the comments down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel, follow us, like, share, subscribe, uh, all that good stuff. Follow us on Instagram as well because our Instagram's pretty spot on. Uh, also have a look at the website with all of our bikes. Thank you.